Welcome to my channel, live and unedited, <laughs> in a basement down by the river. So anyway, um, the Spark 2 is pretty cool. Uh, I've been really digging it. I've been messing around with it a little bit. You know, this is right now the first time I'm going to mess around with seeing what these other amps sound like on this clean channel. So, um, got two cameras set up. That, that was... <laughs> Let's not even talk about how that was, <laughs> but it works now. Um, just trying to get the lighting right in here and just get the camera set up and get them to work. You know, we're not using Windows, we're not using Mac. This is all Linux. You know, this is Ubuntu Studio. Uh, excellent program. It's a little bit of a learning curve, but it's it's an excellent program really really good for recording I really really like Orador um, but enough of that more about this Spark 2 like I said I'm, I'm a big fan of the 40 the 40 was great you know I, not like I used it in a live environment or anything like that I didn't even use it as an interface I just came out of the amp into my interface and used it to record you know some ideas and stuff like that whether they be like you know, emo, rock, metal, whatever. Just a, a whole pile of garbage that I play. I just play garbage. I, I know nothing about guitar. I've been playing for years. Self-taught, you know, I, you want to talk music theory? I'm not your guy. <laughs> I'm really not. But uh, let's dig into this. Let's see, see what this is all about. Uh, once again... This is a first act guitar. You know, nothing special. Bolt on neck. See it says first act right there. Um, you know, just a standard humbucker, nothing special. So let's see what this thing sounds like. Got it plugged into the interface. We'll go to the first act. It's a silver one. That's the second amp choice. Then you have the AD clean, which is like an orange, I guess. See what that sounds like. JHD Showmaster or whatever, locked, 
probably Jimi Hendrix got to buy it I'm sure there's lots of cool amps on here that are free that sound just fine like this blues boy <laughs> just like completely fell apart so I put it I built an enclosure and put it in there and covered it you know with new grilled cloth that's pretty fun amp to play but that's a whole nother story let's see what else we can get out of this here's the tweed bass I'm sure that sounds pretty cool <laughs> This is the tenth amp on the list. That's pretty cool. Checkmate. See what this sounds like. That's got a little bit of drive. To it, a little bit. That's got some pretty good drive. I wasn't expecting anything like that in the clean channel. <laughs> kind of sounds like a soft tech. Kind of. Two stone SP50. <laughs> Master. Well, that's rock. American Deluxe. <laughs> you could play 
play some butt rock with this one. <laughs> obviously <laughs> sound like Jimi Hendrix, couldn't you just play the plexi? I, I would say, right? I'm sure you could play some Jimi Hendrix with that. You wouldn't even need to buy the, the special amps. I mean, maybe, if you're like a Jimi Hendrix aficionado which I know some actually I know one who's really <laughs> he can play some Jimi Hendrix let me tell you he really can all right JM 45 I guess what JTM 45 probably <laughs> going on here no I'm, I don't I don't think anything's turned on here at all well I ain't even gonna mess with it but I don't think so here's your British 30 watt, your orange 30 watt. <laughs>
Soldano, 5150? Might want to turn the master down on that one. Turn it all the way down. Say that's probably the 6505 
Once again, you got to take the master all the way back. Sounds pretty damn good. Switch axe. I have no idea what that is. Probably another high gain amplifier. Set your reset your levels every time you change an amplifier. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> crazy like I, if you were to have to buy all this gear I mean we're talking this is like millions of dollars worth of stuff here like that's pretty cool same thing with like all these other processors and amp modelers and I mean you have just a wide variety of different flavors and tonal palettes to choose from I mean it, you could get lost I mean you could literally literally get lost rocker Rocker V, maybe uh, Rocker Verb, I guess. I don't know. Well, gotta change the, the master. That's 
number 32. that for like you know like an extra track or something or you know put in one of your recordings like use that amplifier just get that like real dynamic like you know like I don't know say say you were using like one of those offset like J Mascus guitars and you're using a lot of effects and stuff and you wanted to run something in the background like you know maybe like a little bit extra rhythm or something you know to beef it up like that'd be kind of cool you know just just straight like the way it is you know maybe give it a little bit more bass a little bit more tone that's pretty rad fish boy don't know what that is it's another cool sucks that I got to really adjust all these uh, levels every time I change an amplifier that's that's kind of a bummer I mean look how loud this is and then you, you touch it and it goes all the way to zero and then you got to back it all the way down to zero and then bring it back up and that's that's kind of a pain in the ass you think that they would have like one output level like set for but you don't want your level too high otherwise it's going to clip inside your your DAW and it'll sound like crap <laughs>
That sounds pretty good too. That would probably work, like I said, but like with the other what whatever this one was called, the pure acoustic, the flat acoustic, that that would work best just the way it is. Like you don't even have to tweak the the tone or anything. That would definitely beef up any anything in the background for sure. The RB eight hundred. All right, I guess we're getting into the bass amps here. I would have to say that's a Galleon Kruger 800 RB. Got one of those here. It's broken. Belongs to a friend. I'm supposed to fix it like 20 years ago. It's still sitting up on the shelf. <laughs> I looked at it, just never really figured out what was wrong with it. So I kind of put it back together and I was just like, whatever. I think I did that when he was here. And I was like, I'll have to further investigate, but I never did. But the RB800 is one hell of a bass amp. It sounds, I mean, it sounds almost as good as an Ampeg SVT. It just doesn't require maintenance and it works forever unless you drop it. I think he probably dropped his. <laughs> sound from like those solid state bass amps sounds pretty good like all right what I did years ago is I had the line 6 mobile in on an iPad right and I direct added from the iPad into a bass amp set all the EQ parameters at 12 o'clock set it up for a bass of boogie set it up for a Marshall played it plugged into a real Marshall, played it. You could tell the difference, but not really. That's pretty incredible. And that was like 15 years ago. Now, like with this software, oh, it, it's, it's incredible. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. Well, hopefully this sounds pretty good because right now I have this coming out of here, stereo into the interface. And this is recording stereo, so hopefully it sounds good. I hope. You know, this whole level thing or whatever, it's probably going to suck. Like if you're listening to it and it's like, ah, super loud, and then I lower it. And hopefully it's okay. I'm going to publish this anyway. You know, this is all about just going through all these presets or all these amplifiers. Just for anybody that's never used the Spark before, you know, um... I was just going to go through the clean amplifiers just for the channel one. Maybe I should have, but let's just roll with this. That's the RB, RB800, the 800RB solid state amplifier for bass, Galen Kruger. <laughs> tone is at like eight I mean if I, that's that's pretty gnarly but I mean if you're going for that you know like a really really loud rip your head off clean you know, that would definitely do the trick for sure now you have the sunny 3000 I have no idea what that is I guess a sun, beta lead, concert lead, maybe? Kind of sounds like one, kind of.
that's the sunny 3000 so it's definitely a sun 38 is a W or no that's not the sunny 3000 that's the 38 W 600 whatever that is have no idea that's straight out you know I, I'm not adjusting any of these parameters these are just how they have them loaded in the app sound pretty good the way they are I mean I would tweak some of that stuff to my liking but you know for what it is sounds pretty good the hammer 500 that's it and we're done so let's see what it sounds like but uh, I don't know I just kind of felt like running through all of them so hopefully this helps and uh, give you a better understanding of what you're gonna get yourself into if you decide to get one of these fabulous amplifiers which sounds pretty good um, I haven't figured this out yet this is the looper so maybe uh, when I figure that out I'll do a video on the looper um, one of these days now that I got the camera set up, maybe I'll do another video tomorrow if I get around to it, if I have some time. I probably shouldn't have done what I did here today because I really didn't have time to do this, but I kind of got caught up in the moment. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, happy trails or something like that. <laughs>